Hello, so um, this is the next sample one video that I was doing for Persona Studio One. Um, let's just get our sample one player in there. Um, and I'm gonna drag some sound files in. Let's look what we've got. Okay, let's let's have a go at this actually. Um, I'm gonna show you how to use the glide function. So I've um, got a bit of audio here. Um, I'm gonna do a chop on that audio. I happen to know this is a bass, analog bass synth. So um, what I did there was I just used this cut tool um, and then use the arrow tool um, and I'm going to send this to a new sample one player. So this is really like efficient. Look at that. Straight in the sample one player. Very nice. Sorry, volume's a little bit high there. Okay, so it's pretty good. Um, and what we're going to do is going to check out uh, monophonic and glide. So um, the moment, if I play um, three keys at the same time, sorry about that. If I play three keys at the same time, what we get is uh, three notes playing at the same time. If I put monophonic on, what will happen is when I play another key, it'll cut off the first key. Now what I'm going to do is use the glide function. So what the glide does is rather than cut it off as soon as I press the next key, based on this glide time, what it's going to do is it's going to glide up to the next note. So it's going to go a bit more smoothly. Can you hear that? And then if I make the glide time quite long, So um, that's just monophonic and glide, uh, nothing particularly uh, special about that. They use it in, you know, if you did like a, a TB303 uh, bass line, that kind of sound uses, uses uh, the monophonic and glide quite effectively. Um, what I'm going to do quickly is let's check out a, a dubstep style bass. Um, so all we need to do is modulate our filter, kind of turn up the resonance a little bit, um, and we're going to modulate it by LFO and we sync it and the uh, let's do it start off let's try a few different ones so. So that's a typical uh, dubstep style wobble bass. You might want to uh, bring in some uh, pitch modulation as well. Okay, so that was monophonic and glide, which I promised to uh, to try out. Um, so the next thing, let's have a go at um, just finishing off what I started on the last video. Um, sorry, I've done this one a bit back to front. But anyway, here's my sample one. Um, I'm going to add in, uh, let's now um, add in some, yeah, let's add in a drum loop. So here we go. This is a sample magic. I think it's a Deep Tech House. Um, the, the sample packs are very, very good. Uh, especially if you're into sort of house rather than you know the drum and bass, I like I like a bit of both. But um, yeah, the, these sample pack packs are very nice. Now, if I don't like the loop that I've selected, all I need to do is drag over it. Um, there was one I quite liked before. Um, where is it? Um, Never mind, I can't find the land. Yeah. Okay, okay, Ugh, whatever. Um, so let's now bring in a synth loop. Now, at the moment, um, I'm having a little bit of trouble with this because sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So if I drag it into this section here, 
I'm not sure what's going on because sometimes the two play together and sometimes they don't. So let's uh, delete it out. Let's delete that one out as well and try again. Um, you see that that's worked there and I don't really know what I did different um, but what it's done is it's layered up the two loops for me okay um, the other way we can bring loops in ah okay so what I might want to do is just have these two loops on two separate keys um, so this one let's just have that on C3 completely Oops, C3. Yep. Yeah. And then this one on D, D3. Okay. So now the drum loop sounds on uh, C3. And the chord sequence sounds on uh, D3, which is quite nice. Um, so yeah, I can choose when when to bring the two of them in. Okay, so that's just mapping onto different keys. Um, see this edit all button here. Um, if I change the filter cut off at the moment with it depressed, what I can do. See anything that I actually manage to um, modulate or change will will affect both samples. If I turn it off now, it's only going to uh, affect the the sample that I've got selected. But you can see the chord is completely unaffected until I turn that one on. Okay. So that's just the edit all button. Um, the last thing I'm going to show you here on sample one is the um, the, the, the amplifier or um, is it amplifier amplitude. It's the same kind of thing anyway. Um, so essentially, what we've got is the volume. Okay. What I can do is I can um, modify it by how hard I press the keyboard. So um, so when 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 this is turned to the center, um, basically no matter how hard I'm pressing the keyboard, it really doesn't change the volume. Um, but now, pressing the keyboard softly, no volume change. Pressing the keyboard um, more, more firmly gets a higher volume. Now what I'd like to see is um, this this actually affecting it a bit more because it doesn't it doesn't change it as much as I'd like it to. Um, depending on how hard I'm pressing the keyboard. Um, the wheel is just my modulation wheel so by pressing the, by using the modulation wheel I can also drive this level so we saw that on the um, on the filter video. Um, I can also do it by um, LFO and we've seen that before we know what the LFO does now.